Good morning, people. Watch from 65, Lisa Boyce. I'm going to give you the gospel. It's in 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4. Christ spilled his blood for our past, present, and future sins, was buried, and rose again on the third day, according to Scripture. We're saved by grace, through faith, in Christ alone. Not of ourselves, not of works. At least any man should boast. It's a gift. Something we didn't earn and something we don't deserve. It is grace that God gave his only begotten son that whosoever, key word, believe in him will not perish but have eternal life. Once you come to the end of yourself and admit you're a sinner in need of a savior and put your faith and trust in Christ and make him your savior, the Holy Spirit will indwell in you. The Holy Spirit is your best friend. The Holy Spirit will lead you, guide you. The Holy Spirit will change you. And the Holy Spirit will seal you until the day of redemption. I'm going to do a rumble video later on today. Because there are some things that the lamestream media is changing and they're responsible for what's going on out here and I want to put the truth out there this is not going to be this is going to be unplugged put it like that this is not going to be um, nice because I got to put it out there you know why the church is falling for it The church is falling for the narrative that the lamestream media is putting out there. They're falling for the lies. And they're falling for everything else. They're falling for the wokeness. They're falling for... And it, you know what? It irritates me to no end. It really irritates me. Because they come on and they make a scene. And they don't know the truth about stuff. And they, they just go on. I got some... Um, Articles. Apparently, and this is apparently, um, China sent another, um, I don't know whether this is the second time that they did this or not, and I can't find the article on it yet. But they did another test. I think I hit on this yesterday. They did another um Hypersonic test. But before I go into this, this and this is part of what I'm talking about with the mainstream media. The mainstream media is leading the narrative and the lies. And the American people are falling for it. The people, period, are falling for it. But it's especially true about the church. Now, let me tell you what's happening. Basically, the mainstream media is leading this Marxist regime that's in office right now. The media is doing their work. And that's exactly how they want it. U.S. warns Israel to stop striking Iranian nuclear sites. The dopey administration, I, I, you know what, and I don't even call it the Biden administration, I call it the Biden regime, has attempted to warn Israel against striking Iran's nuclear sites, insisting that such action is counterproductive. You know why? They don't want Israel. They want Israel to be open. They want Israel open for attack is what they want. Israel has dismissed the warning, which I'm glad they did, saying it will continue working to prevent Iran from achieving nuclear capability. When I read that, it was it, it didn't surprise me. Did it make me mad? Yeah, it did. It didn't surprise me though. What action to take against Iran's nuclear program is becoming a point of contention between Jerusalem and Washington? 
With the Iranian threat so close to home, Israel is taking the more directive approach. In the last 20 months, Israeli intelligence has assassinated Iran's chief nuclear scientist and set off major explosions at four key Iranian nuclear sites, hoping to destroy centrifuges and set back Iran's nuclear timeline. The regime prefers a diplomatic route. American, in, American intelligence officials have even gone so far as to warn the Israeli counterparts against direct action when they claim, which they claim help rather than hinders Iran's nuclear capabilities, the New York Times has reported. The Times is the biggest leftist newspaper ever. According to the report, matter of fact, not getting off the subject, do some history on the New York Times and see where their history is. According to the report here, one of the facilities set up to manufacture key centrifuge parts took what was thought to be a crippling blow in late spring, destroying inventory as well as cameras and sensors that allow international inspectors to supervise the work. But by late summer, the facility was up and running again with improved mach machinery. In an indication of how widespread the rebuilding has been, an American official is said to have dubbed the upgrade of the facility's Tyran's Build Back Better plan. Or should I say Build Back Broke plan. They dubbed it. I'm going to read that again. In an indication of how widespread the rebuilding has been, an American official is said to have dubbed the upgrade of the facilities Tyran's Build Back Better. And they probably have. They probably built their nuclear facility better. But for here, it's Build Back Broke plan. U.S. agents consequently reportedly advised their Israeli counterparts that though the action is tactically satisfying, it is ultimately counterproductive and may have the effect of speeding up Iran's nuclear program. So they're telling Israel to stop. Don't do anything else to them. Why? Because Israel, they want Israel destroyed. Let me explain something to you, and this is another reason why I have to do a um, excuse me. I have to do a um, video on Rumble because this regime, like I said earlier, this is a Marxist regime. This is a Marxist regime. And this is all set. Like I said, this is all set for the Antichrist. The Antichrist has to have chaos so he can make his order to come to pass. So what do you do? You remove the truth. You remove Christ. You remove everything. But what they don't know and what they don't realize. No, I shouldn't say that. What they know, but what they don't believe, is the rapture that's going to take place. They're going to think it's a cleansing. They're going to say that the earth has been cleansed of all the inhabitants that made it bad. So therefore, they're going to say, they're going to make an excuse for the rapture. And guess what? The people here on this earth that are going to be left behind, that are going to experience the wrath of God, they're going to believe it. They're actually going to believe it. There's going to be a few people, there has to be, that will get saved. Because now they will believe the truth and what we were telling them. I would go into more of that, but I'm already going to get enough backlash from what I'm going to go on Rumble and say. This goes on to say talks in Vienna, in Vienna, in the first half of the uh, of the year are said to have gone well. The U.S. officials optimistic 
that a deal could be done with the talks paused in June to allow Iran to hold elections, but Iranian officials showed no urgency to return to the talks following that election, now set to take place at the end of the month. On Sunday, Israel, Israeli and U.S. officials made their counterpositions clear during a conference in Bahrain. Israeli's National Security Advisor Iyal Huleda reiterated on Israel's commitment to preventing Iran from obtaining a nuclear weapon, saying that Iran will not agree to concede just because we asked them nicely. And they're right. He added, those who claim that pressure does not work need to re-examine the previous rounds of pressure put on Iran by the two previous administrations. They are what helped change Iran's policies, and we believe that Iran won't change its policy unless we force them to. His comments were countered by American National Secure, uh, Security Coordinator for the Middle East and North Africa, Brett McGurk, who said that the pressure put on Iran during the Trump administration in the form of sanctions failed and that the current administration is not delusional that any more pressure will change Iran's behavior. Robert Malley, the State Department, Iran's envoy, recently said that Mr. Biden and Secretary of State Anthony Blinken just both said if diplomacy fails, we have other tools and we will use other tools to prevent Iran from acquiring a nuclear weapon. They don't have anything because it says at the end of this uh, article, it's not yet clear what these might be because they don't have anything. They don't have anything. They want Iran, they want Israel. They basically want Iran to destroy Israel. That's what they want. But God, God has other plans. And it's, in, it's set in place right now. I'm going to link this article in the description box. I have some articles in my blog that you're want to, going to want to look at as well. Folks, this is a glorious time for the church because we're on our way out of here. But what I'm going to do later is show you how everything is set up and what's being done in this society to receive and accept the Antichrist. And they will do it. Those who are left behind will do it. The Holy Spirit is restraining us right now, but the Holy Spirit is about to let the church go so that all hell can be unleashed on this earth. I believe in a pre-trib rapture, and yes, a pre-trib rapture is imminent. It's going to happen. I will be back with the next video. I thank you for your support. I thank you for... Um, everything for your prayers. I appreciate it. And I pray for you guys as well. I'll be back with the next video. Thank you.